Hello everybody, my name is Looper Tooper, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Spirit Halloween 22, uh, I mean, um, 2022 lineup. Um, give you my thoughts and opinions. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. Stupid ads, I'm going to cover that up with my webcam. There we go. Alright, I have two videos. Uh, one of them is from that neck snapping lady that you guys all saw in the teaser. And the other one is, well, everything else. So let's do this. Careful where you're going. I'm trying to sanitize this place first. When I'm done, <laughs> nothing's gonna be left living. <laughs> Monsters have been carving uh. up my friends. <laughs> OBS Studio is making me lag. Um, so that was nozzles. <sighs> A very odd one, I'll have to say. I don't think uh, um, Biohazard slash, you know, um, uh, that kind of stuff and clowns really go together it's kind of um doesn't really work out that well um i heard he is 350 uh, uh for a six foot prop that doesn't even have mouth movement svi why <laughs> uh i don't think it's really worth the price um again i do think it's a very weird like stupid concept he does look a lot like, um, um, what's his name? Uh, wacky Mole Clown, sorry. Uh, it, it does look a lot like Wacky Mole Clown, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I mean, all clowns look alike at this point. And, uh, as far as phrases go, meh, I mean, they're all right. All right, it's okay. Anyway, enough of me rambling. On to the next prop, which is the possessed pumpkin. All right. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. Now it's my turn to make a jack o' lantern from your head. <laughs> So, uh, that was Possessed Pumpkin. He's fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, I know he is a crouchy reskin. But, he's pretty damn cool, I have to say. Um, I know Spirit likes to do the skeletal pumpkin look. Um... Uh, who said that the pixelated pumpkin? I'm not sure, but yeah, they did the um, the pumpkin door knocker, and that had um, a uh, skeletal face. Uh, don't really get the uh, pumpkin door knocker, but anyway, I'm going off track. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, I don't get the straw coming out of his um, neck. I get it coming out of his hands because um, when you make scarecrows, you stuff their arms. But, uh, it coming out of his neck, I don't think scarecrows need fat necks. <laughs> um, anyway, the clothing, eh, you know, it's, eh, it's not really that good. <laughs> but, uh, everything else is just pretty cool. The audio, though, oh my god, the audio. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised, uh, if someone thought uh, this is from this audio was from Goosebumps, if they heard it, uh, that's not a compliment. I like Goosebumps, but uh, that was from the '90s. The '90s is pretty corny. Um, anyway, but yeah, uh, the possessed pumpkin is pretty damn cool, but the audio is just eh.
next is uh, actually I'm not sure. Through but, the oh. dark woods and into the night. <laughs> I'm coming for you to give you a fright. Da 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 da. That was a new little skelly bones. I almost laughed. Honestly, this is horrible. I think it would have actually been better if uh, he wasn't a jump scare prop. Um, and that's mainly because um, uh, Little Skellybone's best feature is his uncertainty. His, he's in the uncanny valley, if you know what I mean. Like he's sitting on a swing, like, uh, pray for the dead and the dead will pray, pray for you and they will pray on you. But yeah, I, I don't think it should have been a jump scare. And the audio. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, that's bad. Again, like I said, I almost laughed. Spirit, you really have to do better than this. And I know he's going to be overpriced. I just know it, like all the other ones. And I hate to bring, bring price into my opinion. But <sighs> I don't think. I, I think my opinion is going to be lowered once I see his price. Anyway, next. Jeez. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> I forget his name, but uh, he's pretty cool. Now, I'm uncertain if he's a server prop or not. I think he is. Um, I think he's, uh, actually, I don't know what his price is, but, uh, anyway. He's a pretty cool prop. Um, the audio is pretty, um, actually pretty decent, uh, menacing. Um, the movement is very, like, uh, unsettling, unnerving, like the, the back and forth motion. Um, but I do think it would be better if the back and forth motion wasn't like just little and more of a, uh, you know, constant movement. Like, uh, like back in the good old days of YouTube. Uh, wait, what? This is the wrong voice. Back in the good old days of YouTube. Uh, oh my god, I'm so cringy. But, uh, people made, um, uh, swaying zombies out of wiper motors. And they kind of just did a kind of with this motion, kind of um, of a motion like this. Um, anyway, I'm getting off track, but uh, that's what he should have done. Unless of a, you know, like jittery thing. Um, I think that would have been way better, way more menacing. Um, very creepy. Anyway, next prop. I have a secret. <laughs> Come closer and I'll tell you. <laughs> closer. Closer. This is bad. Um, like every other Haunter said, um, I do think he should have had a lunging or sort of any sort of jump scare motion. Like, I don't know, at, at least he could have, like, I don't know, 
like uh, had his eyes pop out or something, or uh, have his tongue pop out, or um, but uh, yeah, it should have had a jump scare after he left. Um, the inflatable part is uh, a cool feature. I don't you don't see a really combination of those of, of um, inflatables and animatronics. Um, I do think it, uh, I know this is a very uncommon opinion, but he, um, he kind of looks nostalgic to me, like, you know, um, you know, like those, um, what's it, uh, liminal spaces, like, um, in those, uh, like, level fun of the back rooms, it kind of reminds me of that, um, I think Spirit just should have just called called him knockoff party goer or something, because <laughs> that's what it that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, this is really bad. Next prop. Hold on, guys. So that was Tombstone Terror. Um, this is pretty lazy. Um, I do like the classic, like sort of Halloween, Halloween um, aesthetic or whatever. You know, skeletons and tombstones and stuff. But I do think they could have done a little more. Um, I was watching um, the Pixelated Pumpkins video on this, and uh, um, I was thinking to myself, hmm, he could have done a little more than just kind of like a jack in the box or something. Like, uh, it's just a little boop, like, haunt form, like a haunt former said. Um, I do think I would have liked him way more if when he popped out, uh, like, um, Tombstone Arm Reacher or whatever it's called from 2016. I don't think it would be really cool if uh, when he popped up his arm, two arms would come out from behind the tombstone, like a yeah kind of motion. Um, I do think Spirit would have upped the price a lot though. <laughs> this is it's not the worst prop, but I, it's pretty low down there. I do have a soft spot for the, for that though. Don't kill me. But yeah. Classic Halloween aesthetic, but it was still a really lazy idea. Next prop. Excellent day for an exorcism. It would bring us together. You and us. That was uh, Reagan from The Exorcist. I'm pretty sure you've already guessed this, but I have not seen The Exorcist. Um, this is pretty damn cool. I don't have a lot to say about it, but I do think it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Next.
<laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that. That is horrible. <laughs> it's literally just Crouchy, but smaller. And Crouchy's real, like, um, feature is that he's ginormous. Like, pretty damn big. Big boy! And, uh, I think the least, the least they could have done is at least uh, recorded some new audio, but with like a younger voice actor. Um, and perhaps they could have removed the waist turning because it is literally just crouchy, but a smaller and with red LED eyes. I'm getting sidetracked, but, uh, next, I don't want you guys to have to feel any more pain. My collection? <laughs> I love cooking. Mommy lets me do all the chopping. My sister used to be Mommy's favorite, but I took care of that. <laughs> Very sharp. This is awesome. I like that Spirit Halloween has added more blood. Um, I do like the bag movement. Uh, reminds me of the collector from uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, 2020 or 2019. I can't remember, but yeah, one of those years. Um, yeah, it was 2019. But anyway, uh, this is a pretty good prop. The lines are pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, pretty horror movie cliche, though. You know? Mommy lets me do all the chopping. <sighs> um, my opinions are very mixed. Uh, this is kind of a so-so 50-50. Next. I forget the name of this one. Um, if I didn't know better, I would have mistaken this for a Sunstar prop. This is very bad. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this one, but I'll speak my mind anyway. Uh, I do like what Party City has done a couple years back where they made the actual like spindly spider without the fur, like not a tarantula. Um, cause you know, Halloween companies, every Halloween company, there is more than just tarantulas in the spider, um, species um so i do think it would have been a lot creepier if perhaps more of the legs moved and and instead of just the mandibles moving um they should have had eight led eyes i'm gonna be honest now i'm gonna start i'm gonna stop bickering uh next one um this is bad not too bad, but still kind of bad. I knew you would be here soon. You could say I have eyes all over. Remember, wherever you run, my crows and I will find. That was Raven. He is probably my favorite prop of the year. Um, possibly. I'm not sure yet. But uh, he's pretty cool. 
I don't get the back and forth mo- motion. Uh, kind of reminds me of a chicken. Bucker, bucker, bucker. I'm gonna stop being cringy. But anyway, um, I do think it would be better if it had side to side head movement instead of the this weird thing. Um, unpopular opinion, and uh, this is very nostalgic to me because it reminds me of um, Hello Guest, the Hello Neighbor game. Uh, I like the uh, crow, like ca- uh, calling sound effects or whatever. Very it makes it very ominous and stuff. I really like that. I really, really like it. Like like that. I do think he would have been a bit better if he was taller. Although six feet is fine because you know ravens and crows or whatever aren't actually that big probably this tall so it makes sense why the lord raven isn't actually a talon prop um unpopular opinion though i do think he could have either been taller or you're gonna hate me for this shorter um you know how, um, like, uh, hags and witches that lives in the woods aren't very that tall. Like this hunchback little, little old lady that wants to give you sugar and then bites you or something. Ah, but anyway, but yeah, um, that's pretty cool, although, although he could have been taller and I don't like the back and forth movement. Um, overpriced, um, and, uh, but his phrases are pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna, uh, go to the next one now. Um, I really like Lord Raven, though. That was Bog Zombie. He is amazing, but I don't have a lot to say about him. Uh, he is a servo prop. I mean, no, I mean, he is not a servo prop, surprisingly. Uh, I don't, in popular opinion, I don't really like the the arm movement. Um, the, the sort of lurching thing. Um, I do really like the concept, though. Uh... Sort of like a creature from the Black Lagoon, but instead it's a zombie. Um, I am so, so thankful he doesn't have phrases. Because if he did... Yeah, I think it's a point, but yeah. Um, Bog Zombie is probably one of my favorite pops of the year. Next. That was Monty, or Monty the Monkey. Um, This is actually a pretty cool prop. Um, I do like the audio a lot. Um, and I know every honor has said this like in existence, but the symbol clapping is very slow. Actually, let me uh, let me get two tape rolls for example. All right. If I uh, let me just show you how that how it would sound if I um actually clap these two together very slowly. Now with a symbol, it actually wouldn't sound like that. It would just, you know like um, how you hit a symbol with a drumstick and then 
and then you pinch it like this and just silently and it just us uh, you know go silent um that's what that would have done so i do like um i'm getting sidetracked but anyway uh that would have i really would have liked it if it if the if it just went just a bit faster um next problem uh, more than half That was Lucky Bottoms. Um, this guy is probably the scariest prop I have seen from Spirit in a while. Uh, I do like the jaw movement in, instead of you know the classic thrashing props that have that have the unhinged jaw. Um, I don't get the groundbreaker part. Um. I mean, I don't. I do think this thing would make sense, only if you made lore for it. Like, I don't know, maybe he was a clown and he wanted to be buried with his costume on or something. But yeah, the concept is really, really weird. But the execution is amazing. I really love his face, although his costume is a bit bland. Unpopular opinion. I do think. Uh, he could have had some blood on his on his suit. I mean, on his uh, costume, as if uh, I don't know. Maybe he bit someone on the ankle or something. <laughs> uh, but for one hundred and eighty dollars. Um, now let me put this into perspective. Uh, you know those uh, green ground uh, groundbreaker guys that you can buy at Target every year uh, with the classic head turning and light up eyes. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, those are sixty dollars, and um, I do think, uh, for be especially for being a spirit prop, this could have been perhaps a hundred, maybe a hundred and thirty dollars for what it is. Because um, I did hear this is made by Techie. Techie is a um, very good prop maker, I mean, a uh, prop making company, um, although they do use plastic, um, like Sunstar, but, uh, anyway, I'm getting off track, this guy is not worth the price, although he is terrifying, next, and the laughing audio is also pretty cool. That was Bag of Bones. <sighs> Very lazy concept, although I really do love the execution. Um, I don't get the Peekaboo Penny sound effect when he pops out. Um, I do like the classic Halloween aesthetic, like I said, the Tombstone Terror, if you rewind the video. Um, especially with the, uh, the deep laughing sound effect that you guys heard. That's honestly pretty cool. Although, like I said earlier, that's, this is a very lazy concept, and I do think it's overpriced. Uh, actually, wait. I don't think I've seen the price. Uh, but I do think he is going to be overpriced. Um, <laughs> Spirit Halloween. I do like the Easter egg uh, f uh, from S for Spirit Acre Farms. But I do think it would have been better if you could have just made made it made the look uh, made the product placement way smaller and as um, and uh, on the back of the prop because you know you know haunters will have to figure that out themselves after they buy it. But 
why did they put it on the front in very big? That's just obvious product placement. Spirit Halloween, you're getting a bit too capitalist and use, um, and, uh, you know what. But anyway, next product, and possibly one of the last. Well, it is one. That is the last. And, uh, oh, I forgot about the next snapping lady. Here is the next snapping lady. <laughs> I love her. Don't take that the wrong way, though. Um, She's actually a pretty morbid prop for Spirit Halloween. Um, I do not get the laughing sound effect at the end. Um, unpopular opinion, and I, nobody has had an opinion on this prop yet, or had made a video on it. Um, oh, obviously people have opinions. Anyway, um, but, uh... And I know this is going to be an un unpopular opinion, but I do think that she could have had had her mouth closed at the beginning, and when she snapped her neck, it opened. Uh, now I'm not saying add jaw movement, but I am saying do that. Um, although that is jaw movement. Um, you know how the thrashing props like. Um, open, like, have unhinged jaws, I do think that could have been done for her, that would have made, that would have upscaled my opinion on her by a lot, if you know what I mean, she is a pretty cool prop, uh, I do not have the money to be getting her this year, though, um, one, spirit is overpriced, and two, I have a $400 budget, so uh, I will only have the money to buy one of these props. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, those are my opinions on the 2020 Spirit Halloween um, props. Um, I have mixed opinions on this year. This year was kind of meh. I do like the laboratory theme, though. Um, I do wish Spirit Halloween, uh, I do hope that Spirit Halloween will bring back, um, Barnard Butcher, and, um, unpopular opinion, um, jack o Uh, I really love jack o -Lunger. Spirit Halloween, please return jack o -Lunger. He is awesome, and I wanted to see and I want to see him return. Um, anyway, that's my opinion on Spirit Halloween 2022 lineup. Um, yeah, like I said, it's meh, but there are some props that I really do like. Um, I will possibly be getting Lucky Bottoms if I get enough coupons. But uh, yeah, those that's my opinion. Uh, goodbye, everybody. I know I don't like videos like this. But I don't care. Screw you. I know uh, it's July, but goodbye.